hello guys welcome to our channel essential bi today i am going to teach you uh, transpose in power bi duplicate removes and count rows in power bi we will discuss uh, more topics uh, in this session but uh, i have mentioned only the three uh, main topics in this uh, video so let's jump into the power bi screen so that so here we have two sample data set uh, as we have discussed in our last uh, session that uh, if we will click on the three doors then we will be redirect to the edit query part so that is the power query so whatever the modifications we need to do here we can do and uh, we just need to close and apply uh, those modifications that uh, after closing and applying uh, those modifications will be saved as in the power bi power query and those uh, all the steps will be saved in the advanced editors in form of the m language so i'm just closing this uh, this one we will discuss so one by one i have imported that data set uh, from excel file i have one excel file so let me open i'm going to delete that one so that uh, user can easily understand delete from the model So now uh, I will take one one data set to perform the operation in in this uh, uh, session, right? So we have uh, two data sets. Uh, we have already taken that data set in our previous video. Uh, uh, we have office inventory. So that why I am taking that data set because that data set is small. So we can perform the operation and we can see the impact what we we did. Uh, so that's why I have taken the small data set. So uh, here I have click on uh, transform transform data. So uh, transform data means if I, I want to restrict some kind of the data, then I can restrict. Uh, uh, if I want to apply the filter on that, I don't uh, I don't require the desk data here. So I can. I can apply the filters here so uh, dax data will be filtered here so i can close and apply so that data saved in the seat one form so we can rename that uh, seat uh, we can uh, put a name on that sample data set or we can inventory inventory data set So in our last session we have discussed group by uh, so we have taken that data but uh, in the current session we will discuss about the transpose row so I'm going to take one more data set which is very small so so that uh, the impact will be displayed to the user what is the impact if we will take the high high volume data set that impact will not be considered but impact will uh, will done but uh, user cannot uh, understand what is the impact uh, applying the transpose row or uh, reverse or uh, reverse column so here uh, the item and item group group is coming on the row number one so what we can do we can use the use first row as as the header so it will uh, automatically take now close and apply we can also rename that sheet item inventory item group okay so now we have two data set uh, so first uh, we will perform uh, the things first we will go to edit query then home home tab we have already covered so we will covered uh, uh, we will try to cover the transform so in transform the first option is group by but we have already covered group by uh, use and headers so we will continue from the transpose so what is the transpose transpose means like uh, we are transposing the tables so whatever in uh, appears in the row that should be in a column so 
same thing uh, same thing we can do in excel uh, and sql as well so what we can do i just need to click on the transforms and use as a first row use first row use first row as header okay so whatever the duplicate data uh, we have so it has considered on uh, automatically pen set pen set 1 pen set binder 2 pen set 3 binder 3 pencil 3 so it has considered so that that is the impact of the transpose row now and you can also see whatever I am doing to I am I am performing the step. So all the steps is recorded in the applied steps, and those applied steps will be stored in the uh, advanced editor in form of the M language. So now, if I want to check the count of the entire table, so what we can do? I can click on the count rows. So it has only the 43 rows here. So it is giving us the 43. Okay, so now I'm reverse row. So if I will select the row, reverse the row. Okay, so reverse row uh, means it is just uh, reversing the row. its impact is not able to see in but uh, what we can do we can select okay pen set pen set uh, this one okay now uh, we we will discuss in uh, this uh, reverse row uh, in next video so this is the data type so now if uh, we want to change the data type of this uh, column we can change the data type from here by default uh, uh, in the power bi once we will upload the data it will detect the data type automatically as per the uh, as per the rule uh, which is already written in the power bi but in case uh, automatically it has taken the different data data type so user can select the data type according to the choice whatever the data type he want to convert in for the particular columns so now in the item part we have a pen set and we have character values here so what we can do we can give the character data type here and item same go, same thing goes to item group item group uh, we have abc so that is also the character so we can give the character so here the data type is correct but sometimes uh, if you will find uh, the data type is not correct so you can change the data type from here so there are uh, list of number of the list of the data type whatever the data type you can select you can select a decimal number fixed decimal number whole number percentage date date time time date date time zone duration text true false and binary so those are the data types available in the power bi detect data type means it it will detect data type uh, automatically so now rename so rename works as a two two things right if you want to rename the column name and if you want to rename the table name so table name we have already done because uh, we can rename the table from here from here if i i want to rename that table name item underscore two so that is possible from here if i want to rename the column so i can rename column from here it item set so i can rename column from here replace value replace value what we can do replace value so if uh, suppose in the pen set i am going to select that uh, item group column and i am i will replace the value 
so first of all in the replace value what we can do we can find the value i want to find a and replace with g so where the uh, a will exist so it will replace automatically with a g so against the a uh, it will replace uh, g so i can close and apply so that will save the things whatever the operation we have performed it will save so if you can see here uh, it has changed the table name and it has changed the column name as well so now so now one more thing pivot column pivot column is like uh, uh, fill okay fill what we can do fill down so fill can be perform uh, on the column only not in the not in the rows so now uh, coming on the pivot column pivot column uh, so okay item group we have item group now we can select item set item group values and count so that will create the pivot here that we have pen set pen set 7 binders 15 and uh, pencil 13 dex uh, 3 pen 5 so that is the pivot view and unpivot unpivot if we will unpivot this one so it has already created the view but that is not a correct so i'm going to if i want to create that one unpivot so unpivot column means it will give us the another column along with the attribute so that is the attribute from the item set and whatever the values are coming in the values so and move move uh, is like moving the data set moving the columns uh, if we can move uh, that column right so this is the left column so we can move that column in right side so that column will come into the right side if that column so we can to the left so that will automatically come to the left column if uh, we want that attribute column should be uh, beginning so we can do this one so it means if we are moving uh, we are clicking on the move so it will uh, reorder the columns so now another thing is uh, convert list convert list is uh, if we want to convert that column in in one list so what we can do we can convert a column into a list so it will draw uh, remove all the columns and make the make the columns as a list split column we have already discussed uh, but uh, i will i will tell you one more time split column if we want to split the column by delimiters by number of the characters by positions by lower to upper case by upper to lower case by digit to non digit or non digit to digit so first of all we will split that column by the delimiters we have the space delimiters here so we can delimit that column by the space so if we can see we have pen set and we have binder binder have the single value but we have pen set and in the pen set we have space between pen and set okay so that we have split that column in 
in the form of the by the space in the binder we don't have space so it has given us the null value in pen we have it it has splitted that column into the two parts one is the pan and second one is uh, set so we can change that name and that scenario is uh, perfect when we are uh, when we are splitting that column date column into the uh, month date and year so it will split uh, that date column into the three part and we can rename that column so we can what we can do value well one split part so here the format format is like uh, if we want to change the format okay so format is also the interesting thing okay so as of now what we can do uh, if we want to create the all value in the lower case so all the values should be in the lower case if we want to all the value in the upper case so all the values should be in upper case capitalize each word so what we can do if we can click on the capitalize each word so it will take the first letter of the bird capital and rest letters in a small case if we want to trim the space trimmed space trimmed text then clean we can also clean if we want to uh, trim and clean the space and unnecessary things which is coming space is coming in the column so we can trim that column add sub add prefix if you want to add prefix in uh, suppose i want to add prefix uh, like one one dot so it will add one prefix to each columns e each values now add suffix if uh, i will create one suffix so it will uh, add this value now what we can do if i want to extract uh, uh, three from uh, values so i will click on three text before the delimiters text between the range okay last characters I will take the last characters last three last one okay so it has given us the three three only so that value will be extracted from the original column okay so parse if we want to create uh, the xml or json so that will uh, this thing will be discussed in another uh, lecture or another session so uh, we have done uh, i will uh, we have done here uh, transpose reverse rows count use first rows as header data types uh, detect data types renames replace values fill pivot columns and pivot move convert to list split columns format extract so we have covered uh, those things in this session so we will uh, cover uh, more things in another session so keep watching the video if you like the content please subscribe our channel so it will motivate us to create more videos for you and thank you so much guys Thanks a lot.